Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about switches and checkboxes in Custom Tkinter. Let's get started. To create a switch, put Custom Tkinter.ctk switch, and for the checkbox, put Custom Tkinter.ctk checkbox. The arguments of switches and checkboxes are the same. So, in addition, on the common arguments like master width and height, we have the argument command like the buttons argument. Function will be called when the checkbox or the switch is clicked. The important arguments are variable, on value, and off value. We declare a new string variable with custom tkinter.string var. Inside the value argument, put your initial string text, for example 123. Next, put your string variable inside variable argument of the checkbox or switch. So, in the on value and off value arguments, put the string text that will be affected to the string variable when the checkbox is on or off. For example, enable for on value and disable for off value. We get the value of the string variable with dot get. First, before clicking switch, the string variable my variable has the text 123. When we click on the switch, the string variable change to enable. When we click again, the string variable change to disable. Let's copy this into sublime text. To print the value of my string var, I will use two methods. In the first method I create a button that print the value. The button tutorial is in the description. The second is that use the argument command of my switch. We can get directly the state of my switch without creating a string variable using the instance of my switch or checkbox.get, and it will return 0 or 1. In addition of the arguments we have the argument state. Change the state of the switch or checkbox. Normal for the standard, and disabled for not clickable. And that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next video.